Hi, this is Ali Arango of ArangoDigitalProduction.com, and today I want to show you how to model a simple human female head inside of Blender. So let's get started. If this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, Input, and then uh, click here where it says Select with Left. Blender's uh, default select is right, and this might confuse you if you're coming from Adobe or other 3D programs. In Blender, there's three main, there's two main modes, sorry, that you model in, and those main models are object mode, which you can see right here, that lets you move a, an object, the whole object around. For the, most of this tutorial, we're going to be inside of edit mode, and to get to edit mode, you just click right here, and now you're in edit mode. In edit mode, what this allows you to do, it allows you to pull vertices, which you can select right here, edges, or faces. To maneuver your viewpoint in Blender, typically what you'll do is you'll hold your middle mouse button and just uh, you know move your mouse and you'll be able to rotate. And also if you need to pan your, your object or your view, uh, what you'll do is you'll hold shift and then a middle mouse button and drag and you'll be able to pan your view around. In this tutorial, a lot of how we'll be switching the view will be with the number keys to the right of your keyboard. Uh, the one number key makes you go in the front view, uh, three makes you go into right side view, and then seven makes you go into top view. And for most of this tutorial, we'll be probably going back and forth between uh, one and three. So right now, what you want to do is hit one to go in the front view. Also, with these different views, currently we're in front perspective view. There is front perspective view, and if you look right here, you can see it's front perspective view. If I hit five, we go into orthographic view. An orthographic view just allows you to look straight on your model, and it, it's useful for modeling. The same thing when I hit three on the number keypad, it puts us right and it takes us to the right side, but and we're in right ortho. Now to get out of this, I can just hold my middle mouse button, and now you can see now we are, even though it says ortho here, we're actually looking with a perspective mode. <clears throat> and I just wanted you to know that because that's what we'll typically be switching around as we model this head. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit 1 on your number keypad to go in the front view. Just roll my middle mouse button to zoom in. Now what you're going to do is hit W to bring up your specials menu. You're then going to go right here where it says subdivide smooth. Once subdivide smooth pops up, don't click anything else. Look all the way to your left and this panel will pop up. You want to hit a uh, click this number of cuts up to 3. Once this number of uh, cuts is up to three, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, basically, in Blender, you select with three main. There's three main ways you select things. You have your vertices, which you can select right here. Your edges right here, and your faces right here. You want to be on vertices select right now, and you want to select this vertice right here. Now you're going to hit three on your number keypad to switch to the side. Now what you're going to do is you are going to hit O on your keypad. Okay, that, that O turned on your proportional edit, but you can see right here. Now, one of the things I, I want to say is that when you're in Blender, your uh, shortcut keys are affected by where your mouse is over. So if I am over right here, this is actually a separate panel. This is a separate panel. This is a separate panel. This is a separate panel. Also, this is separate. And the reason why, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason why that's important is because uh, if I'm over here and I hit O, you can see that I hit O, but nothing happened here. This proportional edit didn't turn on. Well, if I'm over here, it turns off and it turns on. So just keep note of that. Okay, with this proportional edit turned on, you can see it's turned on right there. And with this vertice selected here, you're going to hit G. The main reason why you hit G, which is grab and blender, is so you can see that circle that just popped up, which is your area of uh, influence, your proportional edit's area of influence. What you want to do is roll your mouse wheel to about here and then drag down to about here and you're just forming the chin of the character. And now I'm just holding my middle mouse button I'm turning to uh, see the back of the head. The vertice is still selected here so what I'm going to do is hit A to deselect. You hit A, A is either select all or deselect all or if you have a vertice like you saw there I hit A just to deselect. Okay what I'm going to do now is go to face select here I'm going to hit C which is going to turn on my paint select. Now I'm going to paint these eight faces here and one of the things as we go through this model, you'll see that we typically select either four or eight faces. I'm going to hit three on the number keypad to turn to the side. 
O to grab, and then Y just to pull straight back on the Y axis. Okay, now you want to actually turn off your proportional edit tools. So you're going to hit circle or O to turn it off. Then I'm just holding my middle mouse button to turn to see the bottom there, and holding shift to pan. And I'm going to hit A to deselect here. Now I'm going to hit C to get paint select. I'm on face select here, so I'm going to paint these four faces or eight faces here. Now I'm now hitting three on the number keypad to turn to the side. Shift the mouse button to, uh, to, to pan a little bit. Now I'm just zooming out. Now I'm hitting E to extrude the neck out. Okay, now what you're going to want to do with the, the head, turn your head you know, slightly to the front with the uh, holding the middle mouse button down. What you're going to do is hit S to scale on the X axis, just slightly. Take your middle mouse, turn to the side, hit S to scale on the Y axis. And you see when I, I do the S to scale, and I say the Y axis, see how that line comes out? There's a green line right underneath there. That line is telling you when you hit that axis what's going to happen. And the reason why I hit Y axis was so I can only move on this axis. axis and it's very useful when you're, uh, you're modeling. So anyway, you're going to pull back just a little bit, holding middle mouse to turn to the front. Now what you're going to do is use one of the most useful tools uh, in modeling in Blender. And what that is, is you're going to hold, uh, actually we still have this selected, so hit A to deselect right here. Uh, this useful tool is the loop cut tool. And the way you use that, the shortcut for it is Control R. All right, now when I hit Control R and then I move my mouse over this model, you can see that purple line showing where the loop cut's going to go. If I roll my mouse wheel up, it'll make multiple loop cuts. If I roll it back, it'll take the loop cuts away. For right here, we want two loop cuts. So you're just going to roll it one time and have two, and then left click to lock in. Now you're going to left click it. After you left click to lock in, as I call it, you, you have the ability to move these loop cuts up and down. You don't want to move it. Just leave it right around here. Just left click yet again. And now you'll see your manipulator come back, and that's how we want it. Okay, what you're going to do now is hit S to scale on the x-axis. Hold the middle mouse button, turn to the side. I'm hitting S to scale on the y-axis, and you can constantly see that, you know, that uh, axis going out, that line showing me where the, you know, showing me kind of how I'm going to, I'm going to scale. And now what you're going to do is take your middle mouse button, turn to the front of the face again. Just zoom in to get a little bit better look and what you're going to do now is actually what you're going to do now is hit one on your number keypad you want to be in orthographic mode which is straight on and straight off you know no perspective if you're not in if, you, if you're if you're in front view and you don't see kind of like these squares and it doesn't say ortho here you can hit five on your number keypad and that will bring you into orthographic mode I have they still these uh, lines still selected on next I'm going to hit a to deselect them now I'm going to go to face select you want to grab these four faces here, and you can see most of the time, like I said, we're going to be grabbing. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Hit A to deselect. Before we do that, what you want to do while you're in front orthographic mode, what you want to do is hit Z to make this model transparent. The reason why we're making this transparent is typically without it being Z, if I do face select and I grab right here, I only grab the front of this face and not the. Uh, the faces right here and the faces in the back of the head. By hitting transparent, it allows me to grab the all of the faces in the front and the side, you know, the back, anything that I'm over. So that's why we're hitting transparent. So I'm going to hit A to deselect here. I'm going to hit Z for transparency. Then I'm going to hit B for box select. And this box select allows you to, to draw a, a box like you might in, you know, Windows or Mac and just grab the, uh, the faces we want to grab. So we're going to hold in box select and just hold my left mouse button down, I'm just grabbing right over the head here and uh, now I have this whole entire side of the head selected so now what I'm going to do is, is hit X to deselect, this delete menu pops up and then I'm going to go to faces and select faces to delete this half of the head and what we just did here is one of the most useful things in, uh, in 3D modeling and it's useful in the fact that basically what we're about to do it allows you to do effectively half of the normal amount of work that you would normal, normally do so what we're going to do now is you're going to come over to this menu here. I'm going to hold my middle mouse button over this menu. And now while holding the middle mouse button, I'm just dragging to uh, to the left. And then I'm going to go for this wrench right here. This is your modifiers button. I'm going to select here. I'm going to click right here where it says add modifier. And then I'm going to go to mirror. 
when I select mirror, basically what happens is Blender, be, Blender took this side, and because this 3D cursor, this is very important. When I first, when I first learned mirror, I didn't understand. The mirror is basically working off of this x-axis here, and it's also working off of this 3D cursor. So to have this mirror be correct, to work correct, it is, this 3D cursor needs to be exactly in the center of your model. All right, and you can get back to that if you're off, and hopefully you aren't. But you can do Shift Z, and that will put it in the center. But Anyway, uh, basically what's happening is this side is being mirrored over here, and so it, so we don't have this uh, gray side, which I find a little bit distracting. I'm just going to grab here and make this menu a little bit bigger, just by left-clicking, holding to the side. You can select right here, and it basically it will make it look like this modifier is applied to uh, to this side of the head. So now what you want to do is you want to select this clipping, and this just keeps this side from when I I pull from ripping apart from the other side ahead. It's useful sometimes to turn it on and turn it off and you'll see see that as we go on. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to hit Z, which will make your model solid again. Make sure you're on face select right here. And you're going to select these four faces right here and you can see with the mirror modifier on when I select here, automatically its mirrored side is also selected. So I'm going to hold shift and just select these four faces right here. What I'm going to do now is hit E to extrude. Now normally we hit, I didn't, all I did was hit E. Alright, I didn't hit anything else. That's why you can see that line coming out to the side like it is. You want to hit left click. So what you did was you hit E, you didn't move anything and you use this left click. Now what that did was it took these four faces here, it made new geometry, it made another four faces on top of here. And you'll see we're going to keep using that technique over and over. As you're getting into model, remember that it's confusing at first because it's like basically when you're modeling you'll you'll see uh, you'll extrude so I might want to extrude an ear so I would grab a face here and I would hit the extrude and what the extrude tends to do is it allows you to pull new new geometry out right uh, and that's typically how you get you're used to seeing uh, the extrude work again what we did here was we extruded to create new geometry and it is just important to catch this because uh, if you can understand this principle, it'll help you a lot as you model faces and you know bodies, animals, and, every, and all kinds of other stuff that you can think of. Anyway, with this new geometry created, what you're going to do is now you're going to hit uh, S to scale. And basically what we're doing here is forming the, the basics of, of the nose here. Now we're going to hit S to scale on the x-axis just to bring this in a little bit more. And like I said, this is basically going to end, eventually end up being a nose. We're going to hit S to scale on the z-axis. Pull that down just a little bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to hit hold control R to put a loop cut in. And you're going to left click right here. You'll see that line without with just loop, left clicking once, we're able to move it up. So you're going to move this up just slightly like there. Then you're going to left click to lock it in. Now you're going to go to your vertices select. We're just going to push this in a little bit again, which is eventually going to be the nose. And as you're going through the design process, you kind of want to think back to being a kid. Uh, I used to uh, look into the clouds and I could see different shapes. It's kind of like that with this face. If you kind of look here and you look into the, the vertices, you can kind of see this is where the eyes are going to be, this is where the nose is going to be, this is where the mouth eventually is going to come from. Okay, what you're going to do now is go to face select. You're going to uh, hold select and select these two faces right here. Just like we did before, remember when I told you about extruding, hitting the extrude button to create new geometry, the same thing. You're going to hit E to extrude, not click anything or, or move anything. You're just going to left click. So now that new geometry is created with the eyes right there. Just rolling in with my middle mouse button, holding shift the pan. Now what you're going to do is hit S to scale in. All right, now I'm just going to hold the middle mouse button. I'm going to turn to the side. And typically when you're working in 3D, you'll see that you're constantly going front to side, front to side. And it's kind of a necessity uh, just so you can see accurately what's going on. But uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to hit E to extrude on the Y axis. And you can see there's that Y line coming out showing us you know, the direction that the extrude by hitting the, the Y axis is only allowing us to go in, which is exactly what we want. But anyway, you're just pushing in just about there. Now you're going to hit 
X to bring up your uh, delete menu and then select faces to, to delete. Now I'm just taking my middle mouse button and just you know getting back to see uh, we're going to start to work on this nose. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold uh, Control R to make a loop cut. Move your mouse so that the loop cut is kind of like that. And you're going to roll your mouse wheel one time, get a double loop cut, and then left click to lock in. Then left click to lock in again. I actually learned this technique. I had started to make this tutorial and actually learned something I thought was pretty cool and, and better. This uh, head technique that I'm showing you is based off a new version that I came up with and then this is even newer from making this tutorial up. <laughs> anyway what you're going to do is you're going to select uh, the vertice select and now what you're going to do is you're going to select this vertice here right there. All right, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. You're going to hold shift and select this vertice here. Now what you're going to do is hit Alt M. All right, This merge menu will pop up and then you're going to select at last. So first I selected that vertice, then this, and when I select at last, it merged to the last vertice. We're about to do the same thing here. You're going to select this vertice, hold shift, select this vertice, hit Alt M, and because of that order, that's why it's saying at last. It's We picked the first vertice, then we selected the second, so it's going to merge at the last vertice, which is the bottom part of where that nose is going to be, which is exactly what we want, so at last. There you go. Now we're just going to zoom out a little bit. You're going to still while on that vertice select. What you're going to do is actually grab this vertice right here. Just pull down. Grab this vertice right here. Pull down a little bit. That. You can kind of see we're forming uh, the basic uh, nostrils right now. With what's going to be the nose. And since we're going for a female face, it's going to be a fairly small nose. Uh, this this uh, manipulator sometimes will get in your, your way. If this gets in your way, you can hit control space to temporarily take it in. Hit control space to bring it out. Sometimes if I want to click like right here and it's kind of like in the way, what I'll do is I'll just click a vertice right here just to move it up and then I'll just select there. But either either way, you know, it will work. Just don't want you to see me jumping around like, why do you select there and select off? A lot of times I'm just trying to get this out of the way. So you're just going to be, you know, grabbing these vertices. Uh, uh, right now we're just grabbing, pushing, and pulling to basically form the nose. Again, it's a female nose, so it's going to be fairly, fairly small. Okay. Okay. Now we're just going to roll the mouse wheel back a little bit. You're going to go select here for face select. You're going to select right here, hold shift, and select right here. Now what you're going to do is hit E to extrude left click and then scale in that's forming the mouth right there we're going to turn to the side with a middle mouse button then we're going to hit e to extrude on the y-axis going about that far left click we're going to hit e to extrude on the y-axis again going about that far now we're going to hit s to scale about there and then what we're going to do is hit uh, e to extrude on the y-axis again See how that bottom part is popping out of the inside of the mouth? To deal with that, you're just going to left click. And because it's still selected, you can just hit S to scale and you'll just draw that back in to the inside of the mouth. Okay, now we're going to go form the nose some more. So that's still selected. We're going to hit A to deselect that. Holding shift the middle mouse button to pan in. I'm just going to go to vertice select, push this nose in. Just a little bit more. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, you're going to go to face select, select right here, hold shift here, here, and here. Turn into that uh, three quarter view like again. So it's a good view to you know push, pull, extrude things out. When it E to extrude on the y axis, you can see there's a the green extrude line there showing us where we're going to extrude from pull out just a little teeny bit about that much. Okay, what you're going to do now, still with face select on, you're going to grab these faces here. See that manipulator is getting in the way. I'm going to hit control space to temporarily take it out of the way. I'm going to select here, hold shift and select here. I'm going to hit control space to bring the manipulator back. Just push the nose out about that far. I'm now going to select just here and just 
push this out just a little teeny bit more okay now with that selected actually we're going to go to edge select and what we're going to do is select this edge right here take the manipulator and just push down just a little bit go to your face select select right here and you're going to hit E to extrude on the Y axis and just take it out not too far just a little bit and you're going to hit S to scale to uh, you know scale it in just a little okay when we first put the mirror modifier on we put that on with this clipping here we're going to temporarily turn off this click clipping to form the inside of the nostril so what you're going to do is remember we're only turning this off temporarily just for this one part don't forget to turn this back on so you're going to click right here to deselect clipping right you're going to make sure you're on face select you're going to select right here and right here the reason why we're doing this is because normally clipping keeps faces from being pulled apart because we're in mirror mode this is actually here and this side actually isn't here it just looks like it's here it's being mirrored this clipping if we try to pull pull this side from that side the clipping keeps it from pulling apart but for what we're doing here we need the clipping just temporarily off and what we're going to do is hit E to extrude left click again creating new geometry now we're going to scale in just like we did before and then since and basically with that the re, with that clipping off it allowed these two pieces to split now that they're split we want to turn that back on because it'll cause you all kinds of problems if you if you forget to turn it on okay so now with those nostrils we're just going to push them up just a little bit now what we're going to do is hit E to extrude on the Z axis and see how my Z to extrude is wobbly hit Z again and it'll lock it in so it only goes straight up and down all right what you're going to do now is hit S to scale and just bring those nostrils in a little bit and then I'm just going to pull it back just slightly okay and basically as we go through this we're basically trying to get all the main features down then we can come back and refine them later on that's generally kind of how I like to, uh, to model okay so we have the eyes we have the basic nose now we're going to go towards the mouth so you're going to have, be on your face select and what you want to do is you're going to hold control alt and you want to click right here on this edge we have face select on we're holding control alt and we're going to select right here and what that allowed us to do was that gave us a, a face loop loop select so it selected all these faces right here now what you want to do is hit E to extrude on the Y axis bring it out just slightly not too much all right now with that still select you can hit S to scale just S no axis all right what you're going to do now is go to your edge select holding shift the middle mouse button just to pan up a little bit roll with the middle mouse to zoom in now what we're going to do is you're going to um, hold alt and then select this inner line right here and by holding alt on an edge it just selected that whole loop there now we're going to hit S to scale just to bring that in just a little bit like that okay now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, hit A to deselect right here we're going to hit control R to put one loop cut right here we're also going to left click to lock that loop cut in and then what we're going to do is hit uh, I'm going to hit A to deselect that we're going to hit control R to put a loop cut right here just left click to lock in now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, form an ear so you're going to go to your face select here you're going to grab these faces all right here so I'm just selecting with left holding shift selecting all these right here and what I'm going to do is hit E to extrude uh, don't pull anywhere just left click then I'm going to scale in just a little bit left click to lock in I'm going to hit E to extrude again on the Y axis scale in just a little bit like that I'm actually going to hit R to rotate just slightly and I'm going to turn my middle mouse button so I can just get a better view now what I'm going to do is hit E to extrude on the X axis and remember when you're those axes again see that red line right there it's showing me how this is going to extrude out so now I'm just going to pull out about like that left click to lock in I'm going to hit S to scale no axis just take it up just a little bit I'm going to hit R to rotate on the Z axis and again with the rotate see that blue line there showing me how this is going to rotate so I'm rotating in like this left click to lock in I'm going to pull back with the manipulator just so I can see this edge right here I'm going to pull with the manipulator out 
little bit more. This is you know, obviously form the ear. Then I'm going to go to vertice select. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just roll my mouse wheel in. And remember that we did the thing with the nose. We're going to do the a very similar thing here. So with that vertice selected, see how this is selected? As soon as I click this vertice, it should deselect all that. So there it goes. And so now this is should be all deselected anyway. Then I'm going to hold shift. So this is selected first. I'm holding shift, holding the second thing. Then I'm going to hit alt. M to bring up the merge menu and I want alt last which means it's going to select on that last vertice so there's last here's the first this uh, manipulator is going to get in the way so I'm going to hit control space to temporarily take it away hold shift I'm, here's the last vertice and where do I want to merge it at yep at the last I'm going to hit alt M merge at last I'm going to do the same thing again click here hold shift there's the last one hit alt M merge at last same thing again uh, hold shift alt M merge at last and then uh, and you're just going to select this vertice here hold shift select the last vertice hit alt M and then uh, this brings up the merge menu yet again and then at last okay now what we're going to do is uh, actually you know what grab these vertices right here I'm just going to hold shift select these vertices here, hit control space to bring back my manipulator and I'm just going to push in just a little bit right there now what I'm going to do, when we go to select faces, there's two, we're going to go to face select here now a lot of times you'll see me, I'll just left click and I'll select the face and hold shift uh, it's your choice whether you want to do that or whether I'm going to hit A to deselect or you want to hit C which brings up your paint select and then I can just paint these instead so whatever one you want to use. I'm actually going to go back to my vertice select just because I want to shape that ear a little bit. And I'm just going to grab this vertice here, take the manipulator, push this in a little bit. Okay, go back to your, your uh, face select. I'm going to hold shift now and like I said you can do this or to, to see I sometimes I feel like I'm more precise holding shift I, I don't know anyway uh, you're gonna hit E to create new geometry left click to lock in then hit S to scale bring it to about there and again you can see I'm constantly like moving my view you know a lot of times you're pushing in you're gonna have to go front to you know front to side to uh, to see anyway I'm gonna hit E to extrude no access and I'm just gonna push in just a little bit and then left click to lock in and then scale to scale in a little bit for the ear right there okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit A to deselect here I'm just gonna hit control R because again I said I tend to make models for animation so I'm putting a control R right here rolling the mouse wheel one time for two loop cuts and I'm just gonna left click to lock in and basically what this is doing is when you put in if you're if you choose to make this this uh, model for animation if you're following along these loop cuts will help you as far as like having the eye expressions you know human beings of course most a lot of your expressions are around your eyes so the loop cuts just just help with the uh, the animation and now I'm just going to take the middle mouse button actually you want to go to your face select I just held alt now I'm going to hold shift all I held all what I just did there was I I was on fit let me show you I was on face select all right so just like kind of how we did with the mouth now I held alt down and I clicked right here on this edge even though I'm on face select I'm going to click on this edge and you can see it grabs that whole edge loop so now I want to grab most of these uh, pretty much all these edge loops here so I'm going to keep holding alt hold shift click on this edge it grabs that edge loop hit this edge and it grabs that edge loop and then I'm going to click on this edge so I was on face select, but by holding alt and clicking on an edge, it allowed me to grab all of those loops right there. Okay, this next part what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, turn to the side. You can either do this or hit number three on your keypad. I just, you know, turn to the side with my mouse. You're going to turn back on this proportional edit tool. So I'm going to hit circle while being over here. The O key, turned it back on. Now I'm going to hit G so I can see the area of influence, that circle that just popped up. I'm going to roll the middle mouse wheel in so it's not too much. Now I'm going to hit Y 
So I'm only pulling back there. And what basically this is going to do is there's a dip that's, you know, next to your nose that goes in your brow line. And this is probably going to, this is going to help form the cheekbone and uh, you know, push the eye back just a little bit. You're going to left click to lock in. And now we're going to hit, now we're going to hit uh, A to deselect the eye. We're going to use hit C. We're on our face select. We're going to hit C. We still have a proportional added on, which is fine for now. We're just going to paint this whole section right here. When you're on paint select, you see I, I, I left clicked and I paint it here, right? If I have vertices that I don't want like these right here, if I click the middle mouse button, it will take them away. Very useful to know. Then you right click to get out of paint select. So I'm going to hit G to grab on the Y axis and that circle there is the area of influence. I'm just going to pull this ear back some out there. And now we're going to do is just hit A to deselect the ear, middle mouse button turn. And we're just going to go to, uh, actually we'll use edge select, hold shift, select these edges right here. Just turn to the side, we're just going to pull these back just a little. Let me hit G, just so I can see the area of influence, roll the mouse wheel in, take it down a little bit, and then I'm just taking a middle mouse, the, the uh, not middle mouse, I'm sorry, the left click, I'm just pulling the manipulator back a little bit. Then now we're just going to grab these uh, edges right here, actually we'll hit C for paint select. I actually hit A to deselect. I'm going to hit, go to vertice select. Hit C to uh, paint select right here. Let's push this in just a little. Take that back just a little. So far this whole time we've been in object mode. We're actually, I mean edit mode. We're actually going to go into object mode. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to just click right here. Select object. And the reason why we're doing this is we're going to put some eyes in this model. How we're going to do that is wherever this 3D cursor is, is where, where an object will come into Blender. So what you want to do is we're going to hit a 1 on the number keypad to go in the front orthographic mode. If you don't see it say ortho, just hit 5. Then what you're going to do is just uh, right click right here in the center of the eye. Where the eye socket is, then you're going to hit 3 on your number keypad. I'm going to hold the shift and middle mouse button to pan over. You see how from the front it looks like it's in the right place when you turn to the side it's not. Uh, what you have to do is just click right here from the side and then now when you click front you can see it's there and then three so one to go to front and then three to go to the side you can see that the uh, cursor is where you want it to be. Actually would we'll bring it down just uh, slightly. Now what we're going to do is hit shift A uh, go to mesh and then go to a UV sphere don't click anything because you'll lose the option to to see this panel all the way over here to the uh, to the left if you click something, and basically what you want to do is turn these these uh these the this represents that sphere right there right. You have segments and rings. This is more than we need, so we're just going to click here, put in 12, and then go here and put in 12 again. And now we're going to left click, so now it actually has those spheres. Now we're going to hit Tab to go inside of the edit mode of the sphere. Then we're going to hit S to scale, actually right click. We don't want this proportional edit on. So make sure your mouse isn't over here, but over the 3D viewpoint, hit O. And then you're going to hit S to scale, and we're just going to bring that down to around the size that we want it. Holding the middle mouse button to turn to the side. And again, right here, we're actually in the, uh, we're in the, uh, the edit mode for this, for the sphere, not for the head. And now what you want to do is, well, what we want to do is we're going to hit uh, Shift D. Actually, no, but don't hit Shift D yet. Go to uh, hit one on your number keypad. Uh, basically, right here, we're in edit mode for the sphere. And then in another separate object that obviously we're not into is the head. What I want to show you is how to go into local mode. And what that is, is that's a view where you can just focus on just the uh, the object you're currently working on, which is that sphere. And the way you get to that is you go to your number pad, all the, all the way to the right of your keypad, and right next to where it says number lock, you should see a thing that says backspace. You hit there, 
and now we are in local mode and if you look right here you can see it says front ortho local mode so the face and everything is still there blender just put us in a mode where we can focus right on uh, just this uh, what's going to be the eye so what we're going to do now that we're in local mode and just focus on this we're going to hit shift D and what that does is duplicate this sphere now I didn't I, I pulled to the side after hitting shift D I didn't click anything I'm going to right click and then that makes that sphere go right back inside of there all right now what I'm going to do uh, and the sphere is still selected the second sphere is selected we made this is this can be confusing so basically what was going on we had the first sphere we're in local mode we duplicated it all right I pulled it to the side just so you could see it's there it's still selected now what we want to do with that second sphere that's selected now is hit S to scale and then we want to hit point nine two and then left click and what happened is that second sphere is now inside of this first sphere and I, I'm gonna show you that it's in there by um, what we'll do is I'm just gonna select this face right here hit X to delete delete that face and then you can kinda of see inside there there is the second sphere which is exactly how we want it so what we're gonna do for this we're actually gonna hit C for paint select while on faces and we're just gonna paint the second halves of this first sphere and watch out for the hole that I made if you if you follow me I'm gonna roll the mouse wheel to make this select smaller now I'm gonna right click and just delete what we have so far I'm gonna hit X to go into the delete menu that faces and you can see the second sphere right there holding my middle mouse button just to turn to see the, the side I'm gonna hit C to paint select again and I'm just grabbing the rest of the second heart part of the sphere taking care not to uh, grab any of the pieces of the uh, oh, no, I just did it if you hit uh, hold the middle mouse button you can erase if you mess up like I just did so we're just grabbing that we're gonna right click to get out of the paint select hit X to delete the faces and now we're just gonna select here left click hit X to delete the face got a few faces here left over I'm just gonna hold zoom in real close so you can see hold shift grab these hit X for the delete menu faces to get rid of it and then I think that's uh, that's it. So now we're going to do is hit one to go back in the front view. Okay, now what you're going to do with faces still selected. If you select one face on a second sphere, this is very useful to remember. If you hit Control L, you'll select all of that. Of everything is connected to that sphere. So that's what we want. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit R X nine O and then left click to lock in. And what that did is that just set that eye how we want it to be. Now you, how we want it to be with this face and forward. Uh, so now what we're going to do is hit three to go to the side view. You're then going to uh, zoom out a little bit, select one face up here, hit control L to grab all that. And with this cursor right here in the center, this is exactly where we want this cursor to be. For this to work right, this 3D cursor, which is what this is right here, needs to be right here what you're going to do is come right here select here and then click 3d cursor And what that means is that this top which is going to be an eyelid will pivot directly on this 3d cursor right here all right uh, so what I'm going to do now with that with this selected and with this pivot on is I'm going to hit R to rotate and I'm just going to turn that what's going to be the eyelid so it's off of the eye I'm going to left click to lock in now I'm just going to hold my middle mouse button turn to the front I'm going to hit A to deselect that eyelid but now I'm going to select edges right here and I'm going to hold the alt key to select right here with that edge selected what I'm going to do now is hit E while still in edge mode E to create new geometry I'm going to left click and then I'm going to hit S to scale and uh, I'm just doing that to give that eyelid some thickness and now we're going to do is take the middle mouse button turn to the side again or you can just hit three actually you know what? we'll hit three on our number keypad you're gonna uh, go to face select select here hit control L to select that whole uh, top eyelid you're gonna hit shift D to duplicate it I'm gonna I'm moving it just so you can see it I didn't click anything so because I didn't click anything I can right click and it's still there it didn't undo it it just undid the space so now what we do is hit R and since this 3d uh, cursor is right here and we still have pivot on 3d cursor I can just hit R and then I can just take this eyelid and uh, you know put it down like that so now we have the eyelid part there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this back to blenders you know regular pivot point is medium point to here 
and we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna hit A to deselect all that. Hit C to uh, select this right here. We're gonna right click to get out of it. I just did C for paint select. I right click to get out of it. Now we're gonna hit S to scale on the Y axis, and we're gonna hit zero. As long as you're on medium point, it'd be right. If by some chance it jumped in, it's because you forgot to turn this back to medium point instead of 3D point. Anyway, uh, now what we're going to do with that is we're going to select one vertice. We're going to go in. This manipulator is going to get in the way. So we're going to hit control space to temporarily take it out of the way. Grab that vertice right there. Turn on, hit O to turn on this. Proportional edit. Hit control space to bring back your manipulator. And whoops, whoa, way too big. Hit control Z to go back. G to see the uh, area of influence, roll the mouse wheel in, bring it in. Left click, now I'm just gonna pull that in just slightly. Now what, is that too much? That should be good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is hit uh, A to deselect, and hit Control R to make a loop cut. If you ever wanna make a sharp edge, uh, actually, let me show you this. This, this is useful for you guys to know. All right, basically, so far, we've had flat shading, right? What we're going to do now is we're going to put on the subdivision surface onto this eye. So what we're going to do, there's two ways to do it. You can hit control two uh, and that will automatically do it. I'm going to show you the mo you know how to do it through the modifier. So basically this is the modifier um, button here. This is the same way we did the mirror modifier. So what we're going to do now is click here and we're going to go to subdivision surface. All right, so you're going to select here. And now what that did was that put on this subdivision basic subdivision surface it makes the program it makes your model look like it it's smooth without putting a very heavy load on your computer and that's what we just he did here and when we click here you can see it even more it still has smooth uh it still has a uh, uh, it doesn't have smooth shading on it yet so now what we're going to do is hit a to select then hit w to bring up the specials menu we're going to go right here to shade smooth click there and now you can see how smooth this uh this looks Okay, definitely when you're dealing with organic things, you know, the smooth looks look makes things look beautiful. The only problem that you'll run into sometimes is sometimes you want something having a hard edge. Now, we're not going to go to, into it a lot here, but if you want a hard edge, like I want this eyeball to, to show, this edge right here. And because of the smoothness, it pretty much took that away. One of the ways to get that back is you can hit Control R and make a loop cut, right? So see that loop cut. So I click one time. There's the loop cut. I click one time to lock in. Now without clicking, I have the ability to move this loop lip that loop cut. So I just pull this loop cut. And when I take this loop next to the edge of another loop right there, what it'll do is when I'm going to left click to lock in, it'll make this edge right here be prominent. It'll make this edge look kind of hard. And I want it to be hard right here also. So what I'm going to do is hit Control R. For the loop cut, I'm just gonna pull it in just like there. And it's like because of the proximity of the two loops, it'll tend to look harder, uh, which is what we, we want for right here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we actually want it harder here on this eyelid. So what we're gonna do is hit A to deselect de there. We're gonna hit Control R, and we're gonna get, see that loop cut right there. And I'm just gonna get it right to that edge on there. Would have been easier if we did that before we duplicated, but no big deal. And hit A to deselect there. I'm gonna hit Control R here. Same thing. See, I got the loop cut right on the edge there, and I'm just and again, it's like wherever that. Whoops, that's that, there we go. Wherever that loop cut. Whenever you have two edges next to each other, you got the two edges here, two edges here, two edges here. Even when you're dealing with something organic, if you want something like that kind of has a hard edge, that helps it. There's many different ways to get it. Do it. Like I said. We're not going to get into that here now, but just so you know it for the future, that that's one fairly easy way to get something, uh, you know, where you have the, the subdivision surface on with the smooth shading on, still have somewhat of a hard edge. Okay, so now that we have this eye here, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, hit one on the number keypad, then the front view, zoom out, and you can see here we're still in local mode, which just means we're just isolated. See, we just see this. Once we go to the number keypad, right next to number lock, the backspace key is the key that does it, and we hit there. There it goes. There goes the uh, the face right back. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh uh we're select here, go into object mode. Right. We're going to take this eye and duplicate it to that side. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to hit Shift C, and what Shift C did, whoops, hit one. 
So on the front view, I'm going to hold shift, hold the middle mouse button just to pan. Now zoom in. What shift C did was it put this 3D cursor exactly center. Remember, we needed it center for the, um, the mirror mode. It put it exactly in the center of this uh, model's head, right? So what we want to do now is with this eye selected, and you can see the orange is selected here, so we're in the eye. The orange isn't selected here, so we're not on the head. Now we're going to hit Shift D, and then click at anything. So I was able to pull out. There's the eye. And then when I right click, it doesn't take it away. It's still there. It, I just took the move off it. But now what I'm going to do is go back here again. We're going to click here, take just a 3D cursor. This is extremely useful. Try to remember this for the future extremely useful for for when you're doing things like this but anyway the 3d cursor is here there's a duplicated eye here so now with that duplicated eye still selected i'm going to hit s to scale on the x-axis then we hit negative one and then when i left click and what it did was it took that eye and perfectly put it on the other side and now we're going to select back on the head mode we're going to hit Go here and go back in the edit mode. See this pivot point? We want to make sure we turn this back to medium point, which is Blender's default, so it doesn't mess us up. And uh, we're going to go in here. We're about to put a subdivision service on here. Uh, a few things. And again, even now, we're, even now we're still, uh, you know, getting the general shapes. We have the eyes in there, and they have to be adjusted. But I just selected three vertices there. With vertices select. I'm hitting. Uh, y, a G on the Y axis, and I'm there's the you can see the area of influence from the proportional edit. I'm just taking a chin just forward just slightly. Uh, I'm actually going to select right here, pull this down. Whoops, let me hit control Z. I'm actually going to turn off this proportional edit for a second, just pull that down a little bit. Hit control space. This is in my way, that manipulator. Hit the control space to bring it back. Pull this vertice down just a little. Okay, now we're going to apply a subdivision surface um, to this. So the way we're going to do that is we are going to uh, select hit A to select everything. We're then going to, here's our modifier tab. We're going to click this arrow right here. Then we're going to go subdivision surface. And then we're just going to click this view to 2. And then we're also going to click this button right here, which is going to allow it look like it's been applied. We're now going to hit W to uh, go in our specials menu, and we're going to hit uh, Shade Smooth. Okay, and now even though we have our subdivision surface on, we can also uh, uh, allow Blender to show it show us this without the uh, subdivision surface on, just by Selecting this eye right here, so I'm going to left click this. And what we're going to do is just come back to the lips uh, again briefly. So I'm going to hit A to deselect. What we're going to do is make sure you're on your vertex select and you're just going to uh, grab right here that vertice. Now you're going to take this vertice, pull up, and it's almost like, think almost like you're doing uh, for the lips, it's almost like you're doing an upside down W or kind of like an M here. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to pull these down like that. Now we're just going to turn to the side and we're actually going to grab these vertices. I'm just left clicking to grab them. And I'm just going to use the manipulator to push them out some. And the reason why I'm doing this here is uh, I find it easier to uh, things, particularly with the lips. Uh, I find it easier to come back here and shape them here and then you know I can easily just hit the eye and turn the uh, you know the, the visible subdivision on there and see now here's the shapes and you can see how it pulls in like once we go to, to put the subdivision back on how it smooths everything out but it also we lose a little bit of our shape so we'll just come and kind of redo what we just did and again, we're just going to grab these vertices and push them out some, push, pull. That's pretty much what, uh, you know, 3D modeling basically is, is pushing and pulling vertices. Okay, now we're going to do just to fatten up the lips a little bit, give them a little bit more uh, thickness since we're done with the female. We're going to uh, hit Control-R. 
to put a loop cut right here. Then we're going to left click the lock in. Now we're going to hit S to scale. We're just going to pull in just a little bit. And by doing that, we'll give the lip, lips a little bit more thickness, maybe a little teeny bit more. And if you hit tab, you can go and see what it with the lips. Not too bad. You can see right here how the uh, the eyes are coming through. We'll fix that in a second. And to go into object mode, what I did, I just hit the tab key. The tab takes you into edit mode, and it takes you into object mode. And a lot of times, if I just want to see without what everything looks like without the vertices, I'll hit tab. And it just gives me a quick quick view. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just come into this eye. We're gonna make sure we are have the uh, vertices select on and we're just going to grab these vertices right here I'm holding shift and I'm going to hit O to turn on my proportional edit hit G so I can see the area of influence then I'm going to hit Y to uh, pop out just a just a little bit and I'm gonna hit, yeah okay I'm definitely on Y I actually hit G and then go X and a lot of times it, when you're dealing with your proportional edit influence, you can just roll your mouse wheel and you'll get a certain degree of control from that also. Here I'm just pulling and pushing these vertices just a little bit. I'm actually going to go to this head and make it come up just a little. I'm hitting A to deselect. I'm going to go to C. Roll my mouse wheel to make it bigger. My wait a second, hit C. There we go. I'm actually let me right click, go to face select. And I'm just grabbing these, I just want to pull this up just a little. So I'm going to hit uh, G, roll my mouse wheel for proportional edit. To increase the influence, I'm going to hit Z. Just take that up just slightly. And now we're just going to zoom into that eye. The eye is just a little bit more and get rid of the space here. So I'm just uh, panning, holding my middle mouse button and shift. I'm going to make sure the proportional edit's on. See that area of influence? I just hit O. Uh, and you're just going to roll your mouse wheel in so it's nowhere near that big. And I'm just here, I'm just pulling in uh, to you know make sure you don't have that, uh, there's no space there. Sometimes you'll have to pull and then re-grab, like for an area that you, you couldn't grab before. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to make some uh, very basic teeth. Uh, uh, if you're wondering why the mouth is open like that, again, I model things. I tend to, you know, this is me showing you my guys' uh, way. Of, I mean, that my guys, my way of doing this, and uh, I do things. Typically, tend to do them for for to be set up for animation. And I uh, debated on whether I was going to put hair on the top, and that could be a whole nother tutorial in itself. And I figured what I would do was uh, I'd show you some extremely basic teeth and I'll show you a, uh, you know, a little quick shape key just so you can, you know, have the the model smile at you or whatever in this already long uh, tutorial here. So anyway, to bring the teeth in, what we're going to do is you're going to hit one on your number keypad. This put me in front ortho view remember if you hit front and you don't see a view like this you have to hit five on your number keypad to go in ortho view now we're going to do is hit uh we're actually going to go out of edit mode so i'm going to go to object mode and uh i'm going to hit shift a to bring a cube in all right now i'm going to hit tab actually i'll go i'll hit right here tab will take you to edit mode as well as clicking right here so now we're in this this uh cubes uh edit mode i'm going to hit uh just turn to the side so I can pull this cube out. And like I said, these aren't going to be the best teeth. They're just something that can get the job done uh, fairly quick. Uh, now that we have this cube here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit uh, 
uh, W to go on your, your uh, specials menu. You're going to go to Subdivision Smooth. If you remember, this is just how like we started off originally with this uh, tutorial. We're going to hit S to scale. And the, wait a second. I'm going to turn this off, actually. The proportional edits. We're going to hit O to turn that off. Then you're going to S to scale on the Z axis. Bring that in just like that. Then we're going to hit S to scale on the Y axis. Like that. And now remember, this is a separate object from here. That's why we're in the edit mode of here. So this doesn't have a subdivision surface on it. So what we're going to do is with our, make sure you, uh, if you don't have see, if you're not clicked on this already, you're going to click on your wrench to be in your uh, modifier menu. You're going to click here. You're going to go to subdivision surface. Click here. You're going to turn this view up to uh, two. And then you're going to click here so it looks like uh, this subdivision surface is applied. Now you're going to hit W to go in your specials menu, and then you're going to go down to Shade Smooth. Okay, now what you're going to do is you are going to uh, hit Control R. You're going to put a loop cut right here, and just pull up to the top. You're going to hit Control R again for another loop cut. I'm just moving my mouse to position the loop cut where I want it, which is right here. I'm left clicking to lock in and pulling down. Now I'm going to hit A to select all of these, you know, the whole, uh, you know, the, what's going to be teeth. Again, very rudimentary teeth. <laughs> There's, trust me, I know they're, they're, you know, teeth obviously can be better. This is just so you have something. So I'm just hitting S to scale on the Z axis. And this is going, again, just very rudimentary teeth, not meant to be anything, you know. It'll get the job done for, for what we, uh, for what we want. All right, so I'm just I just position using the manipulator to position the teeth in there. Still looks a little bit thick, so I'm going to hit S to scale on the Z axis, like there. And now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to hit Shift D to duplicate that. Left click to lock in. Whoops, crap. I'm going to hit Control Z. I actually lost it. Control Z again. Yeah, and, and by hitting Control Z, what that did it just allowed me to. Uh, you know, go back to when I had this selected again. Trust me, there's better ways to make teeth. I know that, but uh, I'll get to, like I said, I'll get the job done. Right here, see how it's coming out? So what I'm doing here is I already have this one selected. I'm on vertice select. So by uh, selecting this one vertice, when I hit control L, I grabbed that whole second thing of teeth right there. And just so, because if I was watching this tutorial, this is probably one step I would get confused on. So I'll do it again real quick. So I, I want to, you know, shrink both of these, right? So this one's kind of hard to get. So what I'm going to do is just grab this vertice. I'm going to hit Control L, and then I'm going to hold Shift and select this vertice here on this teeth. And I'm going to hit Control L, and now I have both of those, uh, the teeth. So what I'm going to do is hit S to scale on the X axis just so it pulls into the mouth. And I want these, you know, what are supposed to be teeth anyway. Push them back just slightly down a little teeny bit. I want them slightly separated. So now I'm clicking on the, the one vertice there. If I hit control L, it grabs everything attached to there. So now I'm just gonna, you know, lift this up just slightly, just like that. Let's see, I'm gonna hit tab to go out of here real quick so you can see it. Yeah, I'll get the job done for now. Okay, now what we're gonna do is hit, select right here. Go in object mode. Remember, we can either click here to go in object mode, or we can hit the tab key. So now we're gonna work. Do you see how the teeth are highlighted, or the makeshift teeth, whatever, are highlighted there? Uh, what I'm gonna do is click here, and you can see the orange is there. So this is highlighted. Now I'm just gonna click here and go into edit mode back to here. And what I'm gonna show you guys is, uh, and again, the reason why we modeled the mouth open is so it was you know ready for animation, or whatever. See this vertice is still selected here from last time, so I'm going to hit A to deselect. What we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to I'm going to show you guys a quick shape key that will allow you to, if you, you know, uh, have made it through this far in the uh, tutorial, this will allow you to pose this face a little bit. I had done a tutorial on uh, a fairly simple uh, how to shape, uh, how to rig shapes for a fade. We're not doing anything that deep. We're just going to show you a quick thing of shape keys. Very useful, very cool. Uh, don't let it blow your mind. It's it's actually fairly simple. 
And basically all it is is what we want to do is uh, we're actually going to grab, we're going to click this edge right here, right? Let me zoom in so I can show you the inside of the mouth. So what you're going to do is hold Alt and then select that edge. And what it did was it selected that entire edge loop, right? Uh, what we're going to do to position this mouse so we can have the mouth actually be shut is we're actually going to go out of edit mode, which we're in now, and we're going to just select here, go to object mode. All right. When you look at this menu here, this right here is your, uh, your data, data, object data, uh, button. You're going to select this. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to set a shape key for this. And the way shape keys work is the, when we click here, basically what's going to happen is this, uh, the way the mesh is set up here with the mouth open, the eyes, everything, this will be our, our basis of a, a shape key. Like this will be whatever we do, everything will be based off of what you see right here. And it's kind of easier to show you. So what we're going to do for the first thing I do is, uh, you see where it says shape keys here. I'm just going to hit this plus button right here. And now it says basis. All right. So everything's going to be based off of this face here. So the first thing you do when you set up a shape key is you just hit plus there's your basis. Okay. Now you're going to hit it again. And basically what happens is, you know, here's the, the new shape key. Here's the name for it. We're going to name this mouth closed. And what we're going to do is we are going to go into edit mode. And we, when we go into edit mode, we're actually going to be going into the inside of uh, the shape key that we just named here. I'm going to left click. So it's, there's the name there. So now I'm going to click here and go into edit mode. All right. So I still have this loop selected here. So what I'm going to do is select a proportional edit and I'm going to do connected proportional edit. What connected proportional edit is, is instead of grabbing everything, uh, the connected proportional edit is very simple, similar, but it's only going to grab for the most part, what's attached here to what we have actually have selected. So what we're going to do is hit, uh, G just so we can see our area of influence. All right. And I just rolled the mouse wheel out to see. Now we're going to hit S to scale on the Z axis. And uh, as I'm shutting the mouth, I'm actually rolling the mouse wheel just so it doesn't distort the mouth too much. Crap. Okay, so we want it basically like that. And what we'll do is we'll just, uh, whoops, crap, hit control Z. I'm going to hit O to turn that off and then O again because it was in, you know, uh, proportional edit connected. I hit O to switch to proportional edit, then I hit O again and turn it off. So we'll just reshape these lips just a little bit and then we're actually going to uh, manually close the mouth just by grabbing these uh, these vertices here. And you'll see where the, uh, the shape key uh, affects everything in a minute. I'm just grabbing here just because it was slightly affected when I pulled down. Okay, the mouse basically shut there. So now I'm just going to roll out. Now you'll see we're in edit mode here and we're actually inside of this mouth closed shape key. So as soon as I turn this back to object mode, you'll see the mouth jump open. And the reason why it jumped open is because everything is based on this basis here. All right. All right. So you say, why would you do this? The reason why you would do this is, uh, this slider here controls this uh, new shape key that we named mouth closed. So basically with this value at zero, it's the full basis. Now when I turn this value up, there you can see the shape key we made with the mouth being closed. Okay, we'll add one more shape key. And what we're going to do is to add a, a shape key of both of these values uh, mixed together, we'll actually take this down so the mouth is slightly open. Instead of just clicking here and adding a new shape key, what you can do is click right here and then you can choose, whoop, click right here and then you can choose new shape from mix. And what this will be is a combination of both of those of the basis and the mouth close shape key on the values that are currently set. So when we select this, we're going to, this is eventually going to turn into our small shape key. So let me just name this small. And then now we're going to, just like before, we're going to go into uh, edit mode. 
and we're going to turn on our uh, connected proportional edit. I'm just zooming in with the mouse wheel. We're selecting uh, these vertices right here. Hit control space to temporarily move that out of the way. Control space to bring it back. And what we're going to do here is uh, hit G so we can see our area of influence. We're just rolling the mouse wheel in. And then we're just going to pull out to the side, actually. Control Z that, hit G, and then X to pull out to the side. Then we're going to hit G and Z to pull up a little bit. I'm going to turn to the side and hit G, roll the mouse wheel in a little bit, and just pull it back just a little bit. So we have a slight smile. We'll hit G and then X to make it a little bit bigger. And I will hit G and Z a tad bit up more. And with these shape keys, you don't have to do just a mouth. You actually can grab uh, right here also. Like for a smile, Ty typically when you have a smile, you actually, you know, a lot of times people think about the mouth, but it's actually your mouth and as well as, uh, you know, muscles in your forehead. So we can actually pull the adjust this up just slightly so we can see some change. So now what happens when we go back, it'll it'll snap. I mean, when we go back out of edit mode in the object mode, we'll see it snap right back. But now with the smile shape key, when we turn this value up, you can see, and the reason why the mouth actually shut is because this shape key is a combination of the basis and the mouth uh, values together. So we actually can go to mouth closed here and take this here and we actually use this to control and you know have the mouth open. That was the main reason why I had the uh, the teeth there. So uh, that's it for the tutorial, guys. Uh, thank you for sitting through this thing. I know it was pretty long. Uh, for all you guys who support this channel, I appreciate it. And uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.